<laughs> hey, we're back with more Juggernaut. Uh, what, what what do you think is going to happen this time, folks? You think uh, we're going to find out the secret plans of this village? Uh, it's a nuclear ground testing site. Uh, I just don't even know. So, so most of this first part involves going to people's uh, huts and talking to them. Oh, yeah. Uh, for a second, I forgot where we are, but we just entered this tribe. Yes. That likes fighting, I guess. Yeah, that's their thing. Oh, Ugosa. It's nice here, isn't it? Uh, sure. Train yourself hard and improve your strength. Was your father also strong? Yes, he was a great chief. When did he pass away? About 20 years ago. He was eaten by a larger. His voice changes every time. What is Largy? It's a carnivorous animal that lives on this island. It's very fierce. Another reason why we must be stronger to protect ourselves from Largy. Whoa. Whoa! Hey, Jogger, how are you? Not bad, but I'm disgusted with that guy. Wait, is this a glitch? That is... guy? That idiot. That idiot thinks he wanted to fight. What? Who are you talking about? Dad, what's wrong with you? It's Ugosa. Dad, Ugosa? Uh. Strike does a requirement to love her. What? Oh boy, that was something. Okay. Alright, so that's Darren. This is the weirdest. Alright, now we're gonna go to Yagi's Hut. Is this the weirdest game ever made? I mean, I've played a lot of weird games, right? Like, let's be honest, on this channel, I try to go out of my way to play weird games, and this has to be, off the top of my head, at least top three. <laughs> it's just... It this just guy, keeps this changing guy, just, and evolving and just being different. Don't come into my hut without my permission. I haven't accepted you yet. You can stay here because of my dad's considerations. Remember that. Tyrus, as a fo are we, like, reading his mind? I don't know. He thinks he's so great simply because he's the leader. I must admit that he's the one who found this island, so I can't go against him. Frankly speaking, moving with an old man like Seam is nothing but trouble. We should kill such a useless guy like him as soon as possible. If Kerr's report is true, we should do so all the more. Bruh. Why, uh, why do you have a strange look on your face? Go away, now! Okay, this guy likes me. Alright. Uh, yeah, he loves you, dude. Alright. Think. We talk to everyone out. We have to. I'm gonna check one more thing real quick. Bum, bum. Bum. I wrote this bum. music. Oh yeah, the weirdly like good frame rate cutscenes for some reason. Yeah, like absurdly good. I'm just gonna go see if we talk to these people real quick. If helps. Kuro's hut. If they're even in here. Hello. You fought with Tochis yesterday, didn't you? Yes, I was named Ugosa. Yes, Ugosa. Nice to meet you. I'm Kura. I came from the next island recently. The chief has been good to me for many years. I owe him a lot of favors. When our island was attacked by pirates, he brought his people to help us. The island would have perished without his help. He really is a lifesaver. I would like to become your friend. Uh, cool. Cool. Oh, we're friends now. Nice to meet you. Isn't that how it works in real life? We're friends now. Okay. And we're just going to talk to this one last person. Tochi! Toki goes ape spit. Alright. What do you have to say, my man? How weird is this guy going to be? <laughs> You're not thinking that I really lost to you. Uh, Today was a bad day. I'll fight you again someday. Alright. Not important. Okay, so we want to head down... To the village square, which is down and to the right. For this one, I actually have a map uh, written out because there's just so many different, like, specific places. And let's hope that we're right. Bom, bom. Village Square. That's where the village is gathered. Pacific is also here. Not so to be seen. 
Okay. Maybe I did not talk to... Oh, no, that is... Oh, maybe I have to go back to my hut. Ugosa is me. I'm Ugosa. And I get the hut at the bottom. Bing. Bom, bom. Bing. Now let's go to my hut. Check out this hut. Oh, comfy. Unbelievably comfy. Okay. Uh... So we saw the visions. Mm, okay. Uh, it should be turning to the next day. But we will very quickly just talk to everyone again and see if we get visions. There is a mysterious legend on this island that is. When the path leading to Death Spring turns white, the island will perish. As far as I remember, it has never happened in the past. Of course, the island would not exist today if it had happened. But when I passed by the path yesterday, I noticed that the root of a nearby tree was turning white. It seems to be normal today, but I just can't get it off my mind. Can you let me know if you find any changes? Here we go. When the path leading to Death Springs turns white, what is going to happen? Hmm. It's morning. All right. My sleepy eyes gradually get focused on a piece of paper that was slid into the hut. Come to the meeting place. Excellent. Okay. <coughs> Classic adventure game logic. Yep, yep, this is morning. It looks exactly the same. What? No. Come on. It took you like six hours to get out of your hut. I mean, it makes sense. This is such a huge village. Everyone's gonna be here. All the stars are here! By the way, Ugosa, today is an important day. We have an annual festival. Everyone on the island will take part. Anyway, do you know where Tochi's is? No, I don't see him. Isn't he here? I can't find him anywhere. He would never forget the festival. Ugosa, do me a favor. Go find him, will you? Yes, master. <laughs> okay, so his hut is at the top right. I know everyone else could do this better than you, and you're the newcomer, but can you go to his hut? Thank you, sir. Chop, chop, newbie. I guess, frosh. <laughs> we gotta frosh! <laughs> <laughs> we gotta earn our respect first. Hey, it's just like Sobranos. This is Road the same to respect. Game. <laughs> it's the same game. Tochi's hut. Let's see how he's doing. Ah, that's uh... not very good. He looks like he died. Ugh. It was covered with blood and a stench filled the hut. Bile rose up in my throat and into my mouth. Oh no! Blah. So there's nothing I have to... Okay, I just have to see that that exists. Okay. Go back to the village square. Is Tochi the one that you fought and beat? Is that the one? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I want to say yes. Oh! You hear that? Oh, Although a little bit more menacing. Menacing. Menacingly! Oh! Oh! I don't know about that. Hi, so, uh... Did you find Tochi's yet? No, something terrible has happened. Tochi's hut is covered in blood. What, is he dead? Perhaps, there was a pool of blood in his hut. So you didn't see his body, correct? No, not inside the hut, but it looked like something was dragged out. Let's go see. <laughs> they had me wait in front of Tochi's hut. I don't see his body here. I can't find it outside either. Is this really the blood of Tochi's? Since Tochi's is missing, that would be the logical assumption. What? Dude, stop. Jackie, what do you think? That idiot must have done it. Who? Ugosa. There was nothing wrong when we came here last time. He must have killed Tochi's while we were waiting in the meeting. Why? He must have dumped the body in the bushes nearby. Uh, yeah. Ugosa, are you there? Yes, I'm here. We're going back to the meeting place. 
<clears throat> Ugosa, did you do it? Of course not. When I went to the hut, it was already covered in blood. That's a lie. When we went there in the morning, there was nothing wrong. I know nothing about it. Please trust me. Taros, can you go with Ugosa to check there one more time? Sure. You may find some clothes to solve it. Ugosa, let's go. Okay. So we go back to Tochi's hut because... I guess. Of the, uh... Wait, what are these called? Uh... Microcosms. Microcosms. I think this is my least favorite one so far. So maybe, far, yeah. Maybe it gets better. It's just a lot of back and forth. I mean, I guess all of them are back and forth, but this one is, like, very similar to the Killed Children Ghost Island. It's a little bit more lame. <laughs> yeah. Tochi's <laughs> hot. Let's go back in here. <coughs> oh, this is... What's the matter? Footprints. Big footprints. Do you think that belongs to some kind of an animal? Perhaps it's Largi. Largi? That wicked beast, it must have been hiding somewhere. Are you talking about a predator? Yes, it's an extremely dangerous animal. Tell me what- Is it big? It must be a, as big as a young elephant. Tyrus, please wait a moment. Do you really think Largi did it? What else do you think would do such a thing? Look at the footprints. Well, but if Largi is as big as a young elephant, how did it get in the hut without breaking the entrance? I see, you're right. Ugosa, you're smart. Then, did you do it? Excuse me? Did you do it just as we thought? I swear to God that I didn't do it. Well, I guess you wouldn't say anything that'll be a disadvantage to you. Where in the world has Tochi's gone to? But he just did. He disproved your theory that would <laughs> absolve him of guilt. Everyone joined in searching for Tochi's, but we couldn't find his body anywhere. Sime was burning sage and praying all day. Some people on the island apparently avoided me, but I tried not to mind it. Wait a minute. Was Kuro there among the people who gathered at the meeting place? Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Alright, so we're gonna go back to the village square. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Every time we do something else menacing, the, the music has to get slightly more minor. Now, let's see if uh, Kuros, who I don't remember who that is, uh, indeed was there. Oh, Ugosa, this time Kuro disappeared. What on earth is happening? People are staring at me with suspicion. We headed for Kuro's hut. Kuro, we can't find his body. He won't survive the bleeding. Listen, Tyros, do you really think Largi did all this? Do you think a big beast like Largi can roam around without us noticing it? I believe it's most natural to think that way. No, it's not. I don't believe it. The guy who did it was... Ugosa. It's gotta be him. Ugosa? Stop. Jackie, who is Ugosa? Dad, wake up. The guy who came to the island recently. The guy? I don't know who you're talking about. Dad, are you going nuts? It's Ugosa, remember? Ugosa. 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 What is going on? It has to be like reading their subconscious or something. I guess so. They seem to be lost in conversation. But why would this guy like not know who you are in his subconscious? Okay, they're lost in conversation. So we have to go back to Syme's hut. He is the elder, I believe. Bom, bom. Bom, bom. This song, this 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 absolute banger is gonna be stuck in my head all. all <laughs> bum, bum. It uh, as the kids would say, slaps. All right, so Syme or C I M S E I M is down on the bottom left, which is this way. I'm gonna go talk to this guy. This is the guy who was worried about the death spring. Oh god. Why do I keep falling for that? Oh, Yagi, are you safe? Yes, so far. Sime, do you remember you told me about the white path to death spring? Can you tell me more about it? Ya Yagi, what are you talking about? Death spring, white path. I don't know what you're talking about. I want you to tell me. 
Syme, are you going nuts too? You idiot, you're the one who's nuts. Squawking nonsense. You're interfering with my prayer. Go away. What? Maybe it shows you to the past. Gosa, people on the island are suspicious of you. Some think that the solution to this matter is to get rid of you. Especially Yagi. He's he's one who's promoting this idea. Even Daron is saying that you brought a wicked demon to the island. I didn't do it. Ha ha, it's easy to say that. Can you prove it? Well, if you can't prove your innocence, people may suspect you, right? Ugh. I know you did it. It's you, Ogosa. Wait a minute, Simon. Why did you say I did it? Ha ha ha. What's so funny? Ha ha, it seems to be working for you now. Never mind, come closer to me. How is it? Doesn't it smell nice? It's sage. Breathe in deeply. Does it make you feel at ease? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. My brain hurts. I found myself in my hut. Was I dreaming? Yes? Alright, so now... I hope you guys are excited because we are heading to the Death Spring! To see what's, uh, what's going on up there. Death Spring? What are you talking about? Stop speaking nonsense. It's, uh, it's a spring made of death. Alright, uh, yes. Death spring is up this way. Bum, bum, bum. Ooh. Oh, whoa, 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 if I rub my eyes, the path is obviously turning white. Okay, so... So now we have to go to the chief's hut again and tell him about the path turning white. There we go, left. And the chief's name is Darren. What if this guy actually did do everything? Would that be a cool twist? Uh, if every microcosm has to have a twist, then, uh, I suppose. Let's, let's, let's go. Let's do it. Nothing could be stupider than the ending of the last one. Yes. <laughs> also, I went the wrong way. Um. LP ruined. I know. It was going so well for so long. But these adventure games, they get you in their grasp. Uh, let's see what the chief has to say about all of this. Bum, 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 bum. Okay! Ooh! Holding their bellies and everything. Oh no! The path to Death Ring is turning white. What? Kill him! Huh? Huh? Yagi, calm down. Kill him and we can put an end to all this. Kill him now! If no one wants to do it, I will. <laughs> No! Okay. Uh, uh. Did you get, like, sliced? I held my head. I had a terrible headache that I never had before. Head. Hey, you. I can hear a voice from somewhere. Hey, you. Are you really Ugosa? Yes, I am. Even if not a single person on the island knows you? What? What do you mean? Who are you? I don't know either. <laughs> Ugosa, can you hear me? Yes. I don't even remember my own actions. I'm going to the White Path now. I'm not sure what I would do over there. Can you get there before me and wait for me? And can you find out who I am and watch what I am doing there? What? <laughs> I... This is like Cloud in FF7 when he has the voice in his head. Yeah, it's like living through one of his weird delusions. Yeah. Uh... Like, I can't even tell what's going on in this microcosm. It is so weird. It is the... I would have to say the strangest so far. So let's head up to this uh, white path. Uh, like any story where you can't even like discern reality, it's like... I just want to turn my brain off. That is... Maybe the point. But, let's see what happens at this. I hid in the bushes and kept waiting. Someone is coming. Who is it? Before I knew it, I held the sword tightly. 
As I felt a cold sweat down my back, I strained my eyes to see in the dark. Is that the guy that hates you? Alright, Kaylin's okay. Is that the chief? Oh. Here we go so from, for some more nonsense. Oh, yeah. So it's a, it's a village of like eight people and three of them died. Who are you? Kino. Uh, oh, it's you! Yagi. Yagi, are you the one who killed them? Who, who are you? Don't you remember me? I'm Ugosa. This island will perish when the path turns all white. Perish? What do you mean by that? Kino. <laughs> <laughs> Throw away the sword that you're holding and use this one. And beat me with it. Uh, okay. Please wait! Oh my god, he uses helicopter. To Die. Die. Yagi, what are you doing here? Who is it? Why were you swinging the sword? So, it was you who killed them. I noticed you've been acting strange lately. Where? Where are you? Spirits. What? <laughs> is that me? Pure keto. Yagi. Who did you burn? Your dad? Did you kill the chief? Uh, is there anybody there? Uh, Tyros, I knew it was you. Give my dad back to me. Who are you? What are you doing here? <clears throat> Who are you? What are you doing here? <laughs> Sorry about that, fam. <laughs> it's Arthurosa. <laughs> Don't you remember me? Never heard of that name. By the way, where's uh, Gunfuss? Sorry about that. Name. <laughs> I thought you were. One of them. Don't worry. Everything's safe now. <laughs> Kendo! All right. Uh, don't play Telma. You must be Yagi's partner and another maniac killer. <laughs> Uh, stop. People started dying one after another ever since Gunbus came here. I lost sight of the truth when I had believed Gunbus was responsible for it. Only myself, Old Man Simon, and a few other people survived. We're going to die if we don't do anything, but I'll kill you before you do it. Glitch in the Matrix. What's the use of killing me? How could we live here when you, who killed our company, are still alive? This is, uh, this is 10 out of 10 Kino right now, folks. Stop it! Tyros, die! Yeah. I didn't press anything. This is an allegory for Dude Weed Lamau. <laughs> I am. I am. I am passing out. Clark's memo. <laughs> what? <laughs> the following nine suspects are wanted. Tyrus, age 32, leader. Darren, 37, advance guard. Syme, 62, intelligence agent. Yagi, 17, combatant. Tochi's, 21, combat training. Set Gi, 26, female spy. Malba, 18, commando. Dahi, 35, pharmacist. Sami, 21, female field agent. We, Arm, a team that was secretly organized by the government, finally located their hideout. The mission of the 11 members of Arm is to bring them back to justice. Day 1. A serious accident occurred. The ship hit something with one mile left to go. The other 10 members fell through the breach in the hull and disappeared. I was on the deck when it happened and took a lifeboat to narrowly escape death. I was the only survivor left to try to accomplish this important mission. The problem is that there are no means to return home, and the only communication device sank into the sea with the ship. I'll go to the island anyway. God only knows if I can return alive or not. 
Fortunately, I had all my belongings with me. I'll check the contents. A silencer, gun, clothes, dictionary, rope, satarija, satariga, I don't know what that is. Photos and map of the island, remote control bombs, gas mask, and a little food. Day two. I settled in the deep forest so that they won't find me. This island is a perfect hideout. I think they're pretty smart. Since the beginning of the year, the terrorism that ruled our country became the center of mass media's attention worldwide. Our original plan was to bring them back to trial in the home country. Because of the unexpected accident, it is now impossible for me to bring them home. I decided to work out a plan that can be accomplished all by myself. Day three. Clark came over. Uh, uh, bad face, so eat him. Itchy, so eat doggy food. <laughs> Day three. I came up with the ultimate uh, strategy, but the chance of success will be slim. I have no choice but to execute it. I must wait, wait until the leader Tyrus is alone. Day four. I encountered a large animal in the forest. Smaller dead animals are scattered about. The beast must be pretty brutal. I've got an idea. It is vital that they don't find out my identity as a member of ARM. I'll take advantage of this beast. Day five. Finally, he showed up. I captured Tyrus, who came to fish, and tied him up. I took him to my place in the forest. After a struggle, I had him swallow a capsule bomb. Oh what? my god. It can be remote controlled. Now Tyrus is under my control. I'll go visit the village with Tyrus tomorrow. I'll pretend to be a spy who reports directly to him. Day six. Tyrus explained to other members as follows. We're facing immediate danger. Imminent danger. This is Kura, whom I sent to the government as a spy. He has returned to help. I acted my role and told them made up stories. I vividly remember the eyes of the people were staring at me earnestly. As I expected, Tyrus seemed to have absolute power over them. Nobody showed any suspicion towards me. It is going well. Day 7. I asked Old Man Syme to go to the forest with me, saying I wanted advice from him. I killed him with a dagger. I dismembered the body and threw it into the sea for the sharks to clean up. I hurried to the village. I'll be doomed if they find out. I managed to get to Syme's hut and opened my bag. I put on the mask and burns Satariga instead of Sage. It is, str- it is a strong hallucinogen, okay? In about an hour, its hallucinogenic effects reach as much as 150 feet away. I burned Satariga for two hours to avoid any mistake and visited all the huts. Saying that Kuro would come home late because he wanted to visit many places. They were, s- s- they were slavering and watching me with vacant eyes. I don't think that's right. I was not sure if they could hear me. Day 8. Satariga's effects became rampant. Tyrus was the first one to show new symptoms. The minute he came here, he started screaming, Where's Gunbus? Yagi started saying to me, You're Ugosa. There is no Ugosa or Gunbus. I've read an article in a medical journal about an experiment using Satariga. When an undiluted solution of Satariga was injected into a female hamster, it became increasingly ferocious day after day, and it gradually started to act like a male. This hamster died on the ninth day, and the autopsy showed apparent indications it was turning into a male hamster. What? It is characteristic of Satariga to create a different personality. It became so real that even the person himself will not notice the change. It is an extremely powerful and hazardous drug. I left the Satariga burning and went to hunt Tochi's. Tochi's hut is far, so Satariga may not have enough effect on him. I, I had to laugh when I heard Yagi calling Darren dad. Day 9. They seem to have started searching for me. It's been taking too long for me to just visit, to be just visiting many places. I think I should pour Tochi's blood in Kura's hut, and nobody will look for me. All I have to do is wait until they kill each other because of Satariga. I must find out the means to go back to the home country. Day 10. I can't communicate with the headquarters back home. What should I do? I think I should wait to be rescued. Day 11. The only thing I can do is wait. I seem to be running out of food. I can hear people screaming from all over the island. I may be going crazy like them. Day 12. Will the rescue ship come? I will probably die here with them. I was filled with resentment. By myself, I destroyed the terrorist group that horrified the world. I did it all by myself. Nevertheless. Day 13. 
I woke up with a voice saying, are you all right? I was surrounded by a group of armed people. I said, why don't you kill me now? And they said, what are you talking about? We came to rescue you. You did a great job. Are you hurt? We were supposed to start a rescue mission if there was no contact for 10 days. What happened to them? I said, can you go find out to make sure? Okay, so the entire thing was like some hallucinogenic thing. And they were all bad guys, I guess. And then here's this thing. This literal demon. And that shows up at the end of every microcosm. I mean, I guess it makes a little bit more sense. Yeah, yeah. But it's still like, you can't... There's no context clues. It just needs to be told to you. When the armed team arrived on the island, bodies of the terrorists were scattered all over the vacant island. How could Clark, who had only a few weapons, kill all the armed terrorists? That would be something we want to ask him in detail when we return home. Whoa. Okay. That's the worst microcosm so far. Yes, easily. Let's see what we're doing on time. Yeah, pretty much. All right, let's uh, let's just get to the start of the next one. It's just like a microcosm that has a mystery, but you can't figure it out. It just needs to be told to you what's happening. Yeah. Inside a towering building in the middle of the night, blood splashes and screams echo. Evil laughs scornfully. Your past experience have no meaning here. I will erase your memories. I wish you good luck. Thanks. Whoa. You ready for the prison again? Dear Morgan. I want you to go to North Manaya Port now. A boat is arranged for you. I cannot tell you the details now, but ask the man in black. Good luck. National Justice Bureau Chief Michael Jenner. It was ten days ago when I received this letter. I sense the rest in this job because of the huge reward. I am Morgan. I have a Gumroad spy. Or that was what I used to be. I quit the job, and now I just get drunk every day, meaninglessly. This job was perfect for me need the money. According to the chief, they could not find any other suitable person. So, I willingly accepted the job. But slight anxiety crossed my mind. Whoa. This game really is, like, strangely keen out when it wants to be. And... I think that's a perfect place to stop. Yeah, these uh, <clears throat> these microcosms are like um, it's like the writing team. They were all like, "Hey, hey, hey, I have this short story that I was working on." Yeah, seriously. And like, they're just like, "Yeah, put it in, bro. Just put it in." Not that it's necessarily a bad thing, but holy crap! All right, so yeah, that's a great place to end. Uh, we're back in the prison. We're going to talk to men, the man in black. And as you can see on there, we've defeated three microcosms. I forget how many there are, to be honest with you. But we still have plenty more to do. Yay. Yeah. Thank you much, and see you next time. Bye.